comments from Nike here. Nike, it says, will not be extorted or hide information that is relevant to a government investigation. Nike has been cooperating with the government's investigation into NCAA basketball for over a year. When Nike became aware of this matter, Nike immediately reported it to federal prosecutors. When Mr. Avenatti attempted to extort Nike over this matter, Nike, with the assistance of outside counsel at Boy Schiller Flexner, aided that in the investigation. And then they just conclude with Nike firmly believes in ethical and fair play, both in business and sports, and will continue to assist the prosecutor. So a little more clarity, though, there over the sequence of events that mm -hmm. led Nike to the federal prosecutors to eventually charge Michael Avenatti with going after Nike for extortion. Let's bring in Eric Chemi to the conversation. He's been following the story in some of these news conferences, Eric, from the authorities. What else do we know? That's right, sir. So a lot of things are going on here. All of these events, basically, they just happened last week. This was a very short turnaround in terms of when Avenatti first reached out to Nike and its lawyers and said, hey, look, I want a million and a half dollars for my client, who's a former coach. That coach's AAU program had been sponsored by Nike, but was no longer sponsored by Nike. And then that's why the coach reached out to Avenatti looking to get some payment, it seems like. And then Avenatti said, look, I want $20 million for myself whether that's to conduct an internal investigation or to just buy my silence and I'll go away. So this $20 million number, that's what Nike clearly didn't want to pay. They reached out to federal authorities on, you know, with their lawyers at Boys there. And within just a matter of days, their first meeting was just last Tuesday. Avenatti was actually arrested in Midtown Manhattan this afternoon at 1230, where today's meeting was supposed to take place. It seemed to be the last step. It was going to be the last meeting that they were going to have to either figure out from Avenatti's point of view, was he going to get the money or not? That's why he said he was scheduling that press conference for tomorrow. And, and Eric, the, the timeline, you said a matter of days from last week, but a matter of minutes today in terms of what it did to the stock price, because uh, Avenatti tweeting first of all and getting arrested about an hour or so later in the time in between Nike stock suffered but but uh, not at the moment it's basically yeah, flat on the day. It was 14 minutes <laughs> he tweeted at 12 16 he was arrested at 12 30 so when you go back and look at your intraday chart just look at that little 14 minute range. So did you read the charges I mean there were there were some accusations of what Avenatti and that coach was going to make against Nike in this investigation so are they, they're not fully out of the woods are they Eric I mean what happens there. <sighs> It's, it's really interesting, right, because, because they wanted that million and a half for the coach. Then Avenatti wanted 20 million. He kept changing the number depending on exactly what Nike was, was willing to do, what he thought he might actually get paid. His point to Nike when I read the charges was, look, you guys are going to lose $10 billion in market cap. So if you want to pay me $20 million, that's not that much money. It's better for you. You guys would lose a lot more if you don't do it. He was originally actually trying to schedule his press conference for last week centered around their quarterly earnings call and the NCAA tournament. I think he I thought guess, that would be bigger market cap drop for them. I guess what I was asking is, does Nike have any, have any fault here? I mean, because if you, if you read some of the charges, it looks like they are still being blamed for paying families, oh, yeah. you know, in this whole college yeah. basketball scandal. So where does that go? That's a good point. So as we know, these shoe companies have been investigated and there have been indictments for paying college players. This is now taking it a step further, saying we have evidence that you're paying high school players, which could be an even bigger problem. That doesn't go away. So that evidence may still be true. The matter in which that Avenatti and this coach went about doing this extortion, right. that may be bad, but the true evidence may still be true.